up you guys after Chevy Axion today I'm going to be reacting to some more Titans this is season 4 episode 1 oh my god this has been like the first couple of episodes of season 4 have been out for so long and I just haven't had time to do them um, but now I've put them on kind of a regular schedule uh, what that means it, it's a flexible show what that means is um, if I have time to do it I will do it if I do not have time to do it I may not do it. So, even though, like, you know, next week I'll have Season 4, Episode 2 on the schedule, I might not even do it next week. Maybe I'll do it the week after. Maybe I'll do two episodes next week. I'm not gonna, like, it's literally no strings attached. Uh, I want to, you know, do this show. I want to complete it. This is the last season, um, and I'd love to complete it. Um, And this is the only way I can do it. So it's going to be kind of um, playing it by ear, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, I've clicked on the previous episodes, uh, which was episode 11, 12, and 13. 11 and 12 don't actually have any comments on them at all. And tw uh, 13 has some comments, uh, plus Tony's notes, which are probably about the three episodes. So um, yeah. Uh, it's gonna be interesting reading these because, uh, the last episode of Titans I watched was in January, uh, January 20th, 2022, um, and it's, uh, the 21st of April, 2023. Uh, so it's like, uh, it's definitely been, like, over a year. Um, so, yeah, forgive me if I don't remember a lot of stuff. Um, let's go over the comments then. Raven drained all the dark magic that was in the pit, leaving only the rejuvenating water for them to use to revive all the dead citizens without them going crazy. Okay. Uh, they should have found a way to make Connor the lightning rod. Using Donna is just another in a long line of plot holes through this season, throughout the season. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that was, a, yeah, no, that was weird. Um, I note about the black and white afterlife and wanting it to turn into colour but getting a delayed response. It was a lame joke hinting towards the fact that the people in that world could think of something they really wanted and may make it happen. Ah, uh, okay. Ha, huh, you're right. How has nobody figured out Dick is Nightwing yet? He does hang out with the same group of people, doesn't he? Good observation, detective. Let me just point you to my chair. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'd think that Bruce would have programmed the computer to only listen to his or Dick's voice commands, but I'm guessing it's further proof that the old geezer just doesn't know shit about computers. Uh, I mean, Tim just came back from the dead. You're wondering how he healed? It probably has to do with the with coming back from uh, to life and not instantly dying of his wounds again uh if he still had them for its i think it was i think this was about like i was under the impression that he was like near death but he didn't actually die die i don't know but i guess he did die die i don't i don't, I don't know i'm sorry but tim's secret base is just a little bit too big for his parents not to have noticed it being in the basement of their fucking restaurant yes but um this is a comic book TV show. I'm just saying. Some things you just have to kind of wave away. Some things. Most things you can be like, this is stupid. Um, yeah, I don't give a shit if my door would be left open. Pizza delivery dude should wait at the fucking door. Absolutely. Uh, who do you think he is? Or, or was? Dick, you hurt crypto. You are now on my shit list, buddy. Uh, where the fuck could this Asian kid come from? He wasn't there before. No idea. Okay, I know I said he was on my shit list, but shooting him is a bit much. Yep, don't remember. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know enough about Corey to judge on her getting her, uh, getting new powers. It kind of looks cool. Not as cool as Jick's, uh, as Jick. Oh. Not as cool of, as Dick scaring Jason, though. I, th I think I just uh, meshed Jason and Dick together. Uh, 
Damn it. Okay, he's off my shoot list. Don't remember. Um, a bunch of bats carrying a full-sized human in an armored suit. How about no? Yeah, that was a bit weird. Uh, is Dick gonna uh, come back wrong? No. Nope. I guess these pits work different. I think it was explained in the previous comment. Uh, same bat channel, same bat time. All right. <laughs> Uh, could Dick become the Joker? I mean, it's been theorized before with Suicide Squad Joker that he is Dick Grayson. Uh, that he went insane after the OG Joker killed Jason and Batman killed the OG Joker. Um, I think there was a, a Batman film. I don't remember which one it was called. Uh, where, um... It was actually Tim that became the Joker. Uh, it's easy to use a gun, just point and shoot. Um, oh, hell to the nah. Little kid with a red balloon, get the fuck out of here, dick. Next thing you know, Pennywise is going to pop up and you'll float too. I'm, I'm sure that happened. Um, <laughs> obviously, Connor sabotaged the ship so his girlfriend wouldn't leave him. Kind of risky, that's alien tech. For all he knew, the ship explo uh, exploding could have created a crater of the size of the entire city. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where the hell did Barbara get that lead pipe from? You'd think that shit uh, would not be freely accessible in a prison cell. Nope, don't remember. <laughs> Alright, I looked into this. Seems like they wanted to name drop... Uh, there, because as far as I can tell, Roy Harper has never been in, Ar in charge of Argus in the comics. Really? Oh, I didn't know that's what they'd said. Uh, so does Gar just have spare clothes hidden all over town? Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, the mum was like, damn, son, that dude you, click you kicked there, that was some sick shit, yo. You should totally become a superhero now, man. That came out of nowhere. Oh yeah, that's right. His parents just all of a sudden were like, Go be a hero! Yeah, it was random. Um, get the fuck out of here. Blackfire should have been fucking pissed right now. She was all, I have to do this. I have to go back. Dude just robbed her of that chance. Is everyone taking stupid pills or something? Yes! Uh, I'm guessing the Titans Lazarus shit doesn't make people come back wrong, because... Else, this is the whole bring the pit to the city idea would have been fucking stupid. Um, I think it's literally uh, because uh, Raven drained all the the the, the 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 darkness out. Um, <laughs> hey man, I know you tried to kill me, but you did it for good reasons. We're cool now, bro. What? No idea. Uh, the code is 42069, uh, yep, oh, 42069, blur. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. Uh, you're wondering why Donna is all of a sudden immune to electricity? I'm just wondering how the fuck this lasso all of a sudden is long enough to reach the clouds. I don't know. Um, why, why would Connor not pull a gun out or something? He just stands there and lets Tim knock him out. That's lame. Yeah. I had to, like, think about that for a second. But it's not like Connor Kent. It's Connor from Angel. Because he was Scarecrow and we called him Connor. Okay, never mind. Uh, I mean, her ship got blown the fuck up. Where are they getting the materials to make a new one? Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, true. Jason switched sides a lot, and this old geezer, aka Batman, should have probably died or something. Pr yeah, yeah. Titan Season 4 will most likely come out in the fall of 2022. Incorrect. <laughs> Provided they don't run into trouble with shooting. Note to future Shannon reading this. Hi, Fritz! How's life in the future? <laughs> have fun recording the new episode. Question, is dubstep still a thing? Alright, you're trying to be fucking Deadpool now, are ya? Anyways, uh, we have an episode to get into. How are we going? I'm really excited about this. Let's get into it. All I want from this season is Cory and Dick. You got this. Hey. 
Hey! It's actually doing something with his powers other than just Tiger. Yeah, we're just bowling. No transformation. Hey, everyone's got to bring their skills. <laughs> yeah, in a normal bowling alley. Oh, okay, don't worry. I love you too. Bye. Who was that? Oh, Dad. He's worried you're already into something. Uh, did you explain to him that sometimes we go hours without saving the world? Yeah. I think he just wanted an excuse to call. It's nice to have parents that miss you. Yeah, nice to have parents. Is everything OK? Yeah, everything's fine. You have that I have news look on your face. Well, I do have news. Just got off the phone with Bruce. Oh. No, we're not going back to Gotham. I don't Gotham. care what's we're going not on. Doing it. Way too soon. I just left. For the record, I don't mind going back. OK, hang on. This isn't about Gotham. It's about Metropolis. Bruce and I have been talking about you wanting to meet your dad. So Bruce made some calls, and, and he wants to meet you. Superman wants to meet me? Are you serious? He, he said that. He said you need flying lessons, actually. But, uh, what? what? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> but he does want to meet you. This is incredible. I, I can't even believe it's really happening. It is. Nine o'clock sharp at Star Labs. Wait, Star Labs? The Star Labs. Special projects team heard we might be visiting and went into overdrive. Apparently, they've been trying to get their hands on us for some time. Can we actually... I'm gonna get a glimpse of Superman? Like, we'll see? Like, there's no way, right? I mean, Superman will always exist. Welcome to the ancient world, Mr. Luther. We got a Lex! Let there be light. Lex with a very, very long beard. The very bizarre. The Azeroth is now yours. Azeroth? When the ritual is done, your power will be greater than anyone else on Earth. Him too. Soon the gods will know your name. I can assure you, Miss Bennett, the gods already know me. That will be all. Excuse me? You may go. Rest assured, you've done everything I've asked. Mr. Luther, it sounds as if... I'm firing you. Either this will do its job, or it won't. Either way, your work is done here. Now, your contract will be paid in full, but you will leave this compound, and you will never speak about what we've done to anyone. Ever. Someone will have to pay. Someone always does. Interesting interpretation of Lex so far. Allow me to introduce myself. <sighs> My name is Sebastian. No! And I'm going to change the world. I'm going to change the world. No! Is that too much? What the fuck is Carl's Mike? What's it doing here? How about... Hi, my... Stupid. Hi. Oh, he's my the dog. Sebastian, and I've invented something that will give m millions of people all over the world hours. You're playing a dog. What the hell? And contentment. And isn't that exactly what we need right now? It's really pretty hard out there. Oh, my God. Why are they doing this? Okay, I'm someone's sure watching Riverdale. Characters. Just give me the main cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And make them kiss already. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> well, that's what you get for watching Riverdale. some hex bags because I don't know this is reminding me of like Rachel you Supernatural. Yeah, I'm fine. Connor I am afraid that I have some bad news. He's Tell not showing. His regrets. He's not here. He was called away on urgent business a matter that did require his immediate attention. Sorry. But he did leave you this. What's it say? Everything okay? Connor I'm sorry I couldn't be there to meet you today. When I get back, I would very much like to see you and finally get to know you. Until then, please follow Bernard. He has something to show you. It's what we do. Garfield Logan, your days of stripping naked in public are over. Just when I was starting to like it. <laughs> Can I give it a try? Sure. He's got a full costume now. Why? Bernard, 
Are you okay? What the hell happened? Hey. Well, what happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. You turned into a gorilla. What? And a velociraptor. And one of those little guys with the, uh, the shell. What, what are they called? A turtle? Uh, uh, no, they're from Texas. Armadillo. Armadillo. Yes, an armadillo. <laughs> Apparently the gorilla has something against my morphology lab. Really sorry about that. And you don't remember anything that happened? No, I started to transform and then has anything like this ever happened before no gar you feeling okay yeah there's just uh connor it's time let's get this cleaned up all right so what's he like he's extraordinary go ahead and put these on for me Did you just realize? <laughs> if you'll look off to your left for me, about 10 o'clock in three, two, one. What is it? That is Superman. Where is he going? He's headed to Q4, 105 BV. We've predicted the collapse of a red dwarf star near a planet that might hold life. When he gets there, he'll try to counteract the effects, save an entire galaxy from destruction. You'll meet him in person. Someday. Holy shit. Do we have to pay for that? No, we actually needed it fragmented. This was way cheaper than lasers. <laughs> So how'd I do? Well, considering that was Promethium, the hardest substance known to man, I'd say you did great. Tim? When uh, Mr. Grayson called us, he asked that we design something especially for you. The Robin suit? <gasps> yes! I knew it! Uh, no. That's, uh, huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not the Robin suit. It's not? Of course not. Are you crazy? You've been a Titan five minutes. <laughs> Still something so cool, though. Need the soup? This is a Rakusha Kubo. It's a bow staff. But I don't know how to use one of these yet. You're gonna teach me? Starting tomorrow. We did a quick retrofit of your recreational vehicle while you were inside. Oh. I hope you don't mind. Oh my god! The Jesus, you just Wayne. fucking Something about showing off. Gotham City. This is ridiculous. Who is driving that thing? I am. Are we allowed to sit in it? You are. Everyone else can start a sign-up sheet. Where do I sign? <laughs> hey, Connor. Can you take a picture of me with both sides? Sure. Yes. <laughs> What's this for? A profile? Nah, I just... I want to send it to that guy. That guy? Who? Bernard? Star Labs, dude. Got it. I mean, come on, they made this for me. I would like to say thank you. Yeah. Say thank you. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Uh, uh, oh, Connor! Connor, this is Lex Luthor. I know this might seem a bit much, but how else was I going to contact you? I'd like to meet in person. Come to LexCorp Tower tonight at 8 p.m. I'll expect to see you then. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Connor! You okay? Bro, your other daddy wants to meet what you. Happened? We have to go back to Metropolis. Am I supposed to just ignore him? Walk I get away. it. No. You deserve to know your parents. Everyone does. It's just Lex Luthor never shows these cards. We don't know what he wants. Then maybe we should find out. I don't like it, but if it's gonna happen, Corey's right. We should get as much information as we can first. So what do we do? Call him and ask for a quick chat? That's not really my style. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your meal. I would have beamed a message into your head, but this seemed like more fun. Oh, what a pleasure to meet you, Starfire. You can call me Corey. May I offer you some spaghetti puttanesca? No, I'm okay. Allow me to show you around. So far, nothing. 
Let's give her some time. I have so many questions for you. So much I want to learn about your planet, history, your abilities. I have a few questions for you, too. Why do you want to meet with Connor? Doesn't a father have a right to meet his son? A desire doesn't equal a right. <sighs> it worked. Unbelievable. The unbelievable thing about Bruce's toys is never that they work. It's what they do. <laughs> Personal, medical, financial, schedules, calendars. <laughs> oh, I've even got his Twitter account. I want Connor to stay with me here in Metropolis. No. No, that's, that's never going to happen. It might. After all. It is his decision. He knows who you are, what you are. That's exactly the point. He doesn't. I want to give him the benefit of my knowledge and guidance. And I want him to be prepared to one day take over as president. I think what you really want is to own the thing you created. You consider Connor your possession. He is not. He has compassion, empathy, moral intelligence. All of which make him far stronger than you in every way. You want him to be your personal weapon. He will never be that. Isn't that exactly how you're using him, Richard? Hasn't Bruce taught you any other way? Remember, Richard, this is me being gentle. Tim, stay down. Ninjas. <laughs> it must be part of the, the fight. You good? I hate ninjas. <laughs> More ninjas. anything to your advantage. <laughs> I liked those men. All I ask is six months. If you believe you know Connor's answer, then you'll have no problem conveying my offer. Why six months? Why now? I expect an answer tonight. Who is this guy? He's in a lot of these photographs. I don't know. I can't find his name anywhere. Even bigger question. Why does Luther suddenly have a charitable foundation anyway? Because he's dying. What? Yeah, I Those figured. Luther has six months to live. I thought so. What are you talking about? He wants you to stay with him. Learn how to run LexCorp. Learn about him while you still can. How do you know all this? Oh, I let one of these loose in his hen house. It's a superbug from Wayne Tech. It hacked into Lex's files and revealed multiple visits to medical clinics all around the world. This guy, right here. His name is Arthur Holmwood. He's the world's leading expert in kryptonite poisoning. Mm. Luther was diagnosed two years ago. We think Lex wants to use you as a way of saving himself. Homewood created a theory. It's called um, radical mass transfusion. It's blood, organs, everything. Okay. Uh, a blood transfusion. People get those all the time, right? If that's all he's asking. Connor, you can't be serious. Can we talk? A dying man is like a cornered animal. That's when they're most dangerous. Listen, Connor, at the end of the day, it's up to you. If my opinion means anything, I wouldn't get within a mile of Lex Luthor. I hear you. But you're the one who told me I deserve to know my parents. Maybe he's a terrible person, but I have to find that out for myself. And I have to know it before I can know what to do about it. You don't owe him anything. Or maybe he owes me something. Like what? Answers? Why was I created? For what purpose? I, I mean, understand. it's obvious, isn't it? Trust me. None of that matters to him. His purpose is not yours. I still need to find out. I'm sorry, Dick. I have to do this. I get it. You can't just be told something sometimes. Sometimes you have to witness it yourself. I'm Connor Kent. You took his name. I understand you came to Metropolis at his invitation. So? How was it meeting the great man of steel? I didn't meet him. He was... away. That must have been devastating for you. 
Well, I hope I'm not too much of a disappointment, and I suppose you're probably wondering exactly why. I'm not. I'm not wondering why you invited me here. I don't care. I'm here because of what I want. Putting your own desires first. Like father, like son. I want you to know that I don't consider you my father. Are you dying? Perhaps. Were you hoping to use me for a cure? Splendid idea. I already tried. I have an ample supply of the genetic material it took to create you. It follows that a treatment might be found there. Didn't work. However, I do owe you an apology. For what? For creating you in my image. If people found out, they would see you as partly me. And they love you now. But all it will take is one mistake. And then, they will see you differently. I don't have to listen to this. No, you don't, but you should, because I'm the only person in the world who can truly understand you. The only one who will never judge you for being what you are. How could I? I created you. Why? Why did you create me? Am I to assume that your decision on whether or not to stay rests on my answer to this question? Very well. Very serious interpretation of the character. I created you for one reason. Better than just the Eisenberg. To see my dream of becoming Superman come true. Understand, I realized many years ago that I, myself, could never become Superman. So I went about achieving my personal dream the way men have since the beginning of humanity. I had a son. My child would succeed where I had not. To be both man and Superman. Did I succeed? Maybe you should tell me. Oh, I see what Superman has given you. So does the world. You show them with your actions every day. But what I have given you expresses itself more subtly. And I admit, it is pride and self-regard and what I'm sure the television psychologists would call narcissism that has driven me to want this meeting, to want my time with you, to give you some part of myself, not just my DNA, but my real, actual thoughts, my thesis. I don't want you to become me. I've already done that. What I want is for you, with all your gifts, to know me. And with that knowledge, to choose for yourself what and who you will be. Now, if I've answered your questions, please allow me the only one I have. Will you stay? I will. Excellent. You said all the right things. I have something I want to share with you. A project I've been working on, a reason why death may no longer be the foe I once thought it to be, but there's problems. My partners may have even darker ideas than I do. Tomatoes. Why is everyone coughing up blood? Gross. You okay? Oh my god, everyone is. What's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. 
Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas, and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Radio. well that was uh, Titans Season 4 Episode 1. Uh, we had Lex in this episode and then he died. <laughs> okay, uh, it was a very interesting interpretation of him. Um, very serious, uh, very... Um, calm. Um, I don't know if it's my favourite interpretation, but it's definitely, like, one of the better ones, um, I think. Um, yeah, everyone's got some shit going on. And Class Michelson's in this bitch! I'm so excited. Um, yeah. I'm mostly just confused. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.